cutting wood today. We got the 61 of Roberts. I like the saw. I'm going to talk to you. You don't need this one. I'll swap it for another one. You don't want this one. Uh, this ain't no good. We'll, we'll give you something else in trade. Just tell me what you want, buddy. Look at our water here. Look at the mess we got. I mean, it's wet. It just a minute ago stopped raining. But look at our view. Show them this view here in this little crack. Isn't that beautiful? Hey, Sean, thanks for letting us come over here and cut this. Uh, I had to ask a friend if he had something I could cut something up with. And this was it right here. So we're just going to let this camera run. Cohen's going to help me. We're going to work together. I got two saws to run. This is just one of them. I got Hogan's 266. We're going to run that again, give that another go. We might have to stop a couple times, do some adjusting, but that's part of it. It's already been running a little bit. should be warmed up. We'll find out. Whoop. Adjust it now, maybe.
I'll make some firewood quick. This whole ash. What's that been here? Two years? Two years. But uh, all hardwoods, I think all wood hardens up. But uh, we got to make a little adjustment. That's a nice run for the first run. I like to let them cool all the way back down. They went through their heat cycles. Do the adjustment I know I need. Tweak it, work at it a little bit. Uh, we're going to move some stuff out of the way here for a minute. And we'll, we'll be right, right back in the next frame. <laughs>
I know what that feels like. Or a chunk of metal in this. I'll tell you what. Here's the deal. This chain that I'm running on this saw, it's never been a chain that I like. I don't know what brand it is. There's nothing on the links. Nothing you can do to get that where that you want it. You ever have one that just can be razor sharp or don't, there's something about the profiles wrong, this is one of them. And I'll tell you what, I doubt very much I'm going to even sharpen this one because I know I whacked something pretty good. There might even have been a stone in the pile. It felt like metal. Uh, we'll find out. But here's the good opportunity. I'm going to put the other bar on this saw, uh, and uh, we're going to give it another go. So we'll be right back. This is my preferred, my, my preferred method of sharpening. It's right here on the butt of a log, and this is a good one. Uh, I, so far, have managed to wipe one chain out pretty much fully. And this one, I zipped it pretty good, but I think I can file this. So, as I'm filing, yeah, I hold it with my vice, you know what I mean? I find it kind of a bad tooth. Okay. Say in a sharpening video, so I don't hold my file flat, I hold it down about that much. Mm. 
last couple strokes are nice and light. You gotta get that point first, and I bring my quarter around. I've never used a grinder in my life. I've had ground chain, but that's the way I've always done it for years. I don't think the oiler on the saw is quite right. Honestly, I, I really don't. Acts like it's oiling and then not oiling. This chain feels dry. I've only got to cut a few more blocks. It's starting to rain. Kind of weird running a 20 inch bar, but that's what I had. So I said, well, I got bars on about everything I own for saws. I had this one left over. Lucky to have this, my surprise had a chain. I don't generally run this short of a bar. I'll tell you why. When you're fat and old like me, you don't like bending over any more than you gotta. I know I both file. I file a little here and a little there and I bring it together. And then that last couple strokes straightens everything up. I shouldn't have to take my rakers now. Maybe I will. I'd love to take that camera and show you what that looks like when I'm done, but I doubt very much I could do it. it uh, we'll save that for our Elmo. That's what we'll do. All right. Now we're going to go back to cotton, but first I want to show you something. You guys have seen my ad. We haven't done any of that yet on this video. We might not get to it. Just do a block back over here. Right, so. Bucket special. Oh, Bucket sent that to me a few years ago. Nice barbaric. I love the pattern. I really do. That's a, that's a, I'll tell you what. This is a real splitter. It is very serious. Nice four pounder. Well set. Uh, I use this one a lot. Got a couple little nicks in it, but nothing bad. Well, see, there's a sure sign of a splitter. It didn't stick. Okay, back to cotton. Okay, we got our wood loaded. Headboard darn things happen. It's funny. It's uh, the normal stuff. We had a piece of wood just come off the of the truck. I think we missed one. You know, this nice little crick right here and a little road. Wouldn't this be a nice place to live out here? Oh, yeah, sure would. Well, it looks like Colin's going to have to get the gate. There's a little road here. It's, uh, you don't want to screw around on this one. It'd be in that crack. But uh, we'll watch Colin get this gate here in a second. Bus, See, yeah, uh, nice pile of logs over there. That's some good firewood. Too muddy to get that stuff cut up. It, uh, isn't he a nice gate holder? And the little crick goes out that away. Another nice big pine there. It don't look like much from right here, but that's a big pine. It, uh, the view in this valley is amazing. I never appreciated it until uh, I come home from the military. After being in the military, I come home, I couldn't believe what I had here. I 
took it for granted. Uh, yeah, this is good deer hunting, believe me. You like hunting and fishing? This is it. This is where you go. These areas like this. Boy, them lines are low. You see them lines? Oh, yeah. Wow, that's low, low. Boy, you catch that 40 degree day and a lot of moisture. Boy, the old truck runs good then. There's our lazy little river. Around here, there's all kinds of roads just like this. I know, it looks like the last road we was on. Uh, uh, it's not, it's just off. It's about five miles, four miles away from there. But uh, look at that herd of deer there. There goes the speed beef. That was fun running them saws. I like good saws. Uh, the thing is, though, is I want to wanna check that carburetor once more on that 61 to make darn sure things are right. And I want to run it one more time. I can do that at the house. And uh, that 266, the Hogan's, that oiler ain't right. That ain't even close. It, uh, I thought last time I run that, it's like, man, that's dry. Well, then it started oiling. Good canoeing here. We've got lots of rapids. There's a nice little rapid right there. This is rattlesnake country. I'm going to warn you of that. Okay, this is about it for now, so... We're going to call it a day, get home, unload the wood, and see what the boss has got cooking. You guys take care of each other. In these times, just be steady. Things are rough. They're rough for everybody. Okay. Goodbye.